Gemini, hi, welcome to your read. We're going to be looking at your tarot for this week. These are YouTube general reads, so take what resonates, leave the rest for everybody else. These are YouTube general reads. They're not going to resonate for all of you, and they're there for the people that need them the most. And I'm there to be there for you and help you. Gemini, I think this is going to be a very important read for you this week. Um, I haven't said that about Aries or Taurus, and I haven't even pulled a card for you. So, by the way, like and the video and sh uh, subscribe to the channel and if you'd like a personal read Gemini my emails in the description below um, so yeah Yeah, I don't know why I felt like this read for Gemini is going to be really important. It's about moving forward. You got to move forward this week, Gemini. I don't care what it is. Uh, there's definitely that, that feeling you got to move over here. Move forward here. A lot of coins for an air sign. So something's definitely drying up your world here. Um, I don't, you know, Gemini, I don't think, uh, I knew this was going to be an important read because right here at the, the, the outcome to this is very beautiful. Um, you have a very beautiful best outcome for this read. Why you're here is King of Chalices. There's somebody here that gave you an allusion to something. Now, people show up sometimes and they're just shining their light here. And I feel like whatever that was going on here, I feel like maybe they were a blamer and they said, well, you know, it's just me. This is the way I am. And that's the way you are. Um, whatever the two of you agreed on here, I feel like this side didn't hold up their end too much, though. And I'm not saying it was a cheating thing or anything like that. But I think verbally, like where you guys wanted to go, maybe they were like they pulled back out of that. Um, your energy is six of pentacles. You feel something that's very soul connected. You feel something that's very good, very balanced. This is also Saturn. This means like you two are willing to do the work together. Um, and that's probably how it showed up here. And so you're wondering why at the read, was it just kind of like an illusion? Um, five of wands here in the past, some sort of conflict here. Uh, this could have been with words. I'm getting words. Uh, about not understanding each other's emotions, about what you wanted to create, because wands are fire, whatever you wanted to create here, I feel like there was a misunderstanding about creation of two people coming together in love. Um, in the middle of the read here, you know, page of pentacles is being crossed by knight of pentacles, there's a whole lot of slow moving energies here with, it's either you or your person here, there's a lot of slow stuff here, and maybe the communications block is page of pentacles being challenged here, your strength is three of pentacles. This three of pentacles come out for Aries and Taurus. Now it's coming out for you in the strength. Um, this is you willing to build a wall around something here and say, you know, keep that out of your life. This is also you willing to build with whatever this is to kind of come back in. Um, in the upcoming energies here, you have the ace of pentacles. There's definitely a portal opening up to whatever this is. I feel it's connected to this. Because there's a lot of pentacles I said here. And there's definitely a connection here. A door opening up here. Right, let's see if that door is going to stay propped open or not. Um, the hermit's being hidden from you here. And the energies. It's a lot of introspection you're doing. But that's something coming up for you. That's something that hasn't happened yet. There's a lot of introspection about what's going on here. Um, I know why that hasn't happened yet already. I don't even need to clarify. The justice here um, in your suggested approach. Justice, Saturn, right? Um, Libra, Six of Pentacles, and Justice. This is about love. This is about working. So two people not coming together working out in love here. This is definitely your suggested approach is to find that. Find that inside of you first and realize that it'll come to you, but not maybe in the form of this or something. It, it could be this. For some of you, it's going to be this. For some of you, it's not. Five of Pentacles here in the hopes and fears. Um, 
you know, you're afraid that you're going to be forever left out in the cold. It doesn't matter that when I see this card here in the hopes and fears, this is an easy fix. It's just realizing that when people leave you out in the cold, they left themselves out in the cold. Okay, like can we call a duck a duck? If somebody's left you out in the cold, don't think everyone's going to do that to you. Every love story that shows up on your doorstep here with this Ace of Pentacles is going to leave you out in the cold. That's not that's not you. That's not for you. That's that's all made up in your head. That's some hoobo jooboo you heard on another tarot channel. Okay. I think for you, it's telling you to realize when people leave you out in the cold, that brings more warmth inside of you with this card. And look at her. She's been left out there. But the universe is kind of like sprinkling warmth on her here. From what started with Three of Pentacles, which is in your strength, by the way. And the upcoming energies here, your best possible outcome... You have the winged boar. There's somebody showing up here from your past and you just can't believe it. Somebody here to offer some sort of apology. Someone, to, Somebody literally thinks that they acted like a pig. It's your job with this hermit that's being hidden from you is to introspect to really realize are they about it this time or not. We'll figure it out. Let's clarify. Um, but there's there's somebody here showing up from your past. Very strong energies of past vibes trying to show up for the, the Gemini. I knew this read was going to be important just because of this. Well, I knew before I even threw a card down. The winged board showed up in your best possible outcome. Some of you want the past thing back. Some of you, you're getting the illusion back. Some of you are manifesting that. Let's see what the Six of Pentacles is about. The Sun, Knight of Wands, and King of Wands. Could be dealing with the Leo. You have a lot of Leo cards here. The Sun, King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Uh, definitely good vibes with their side too, by the way. So I could see why this would kind of like upset you and disturb you. That there was conflicts there. Let's see what the conflicts were about. Two of Pentacles, Judgment, Page of Wands. Um, somebody was juggling and somebody left. That's what this conflict was about. You may have found on like the social media app, you may have found like a banner or something, text from so-and-so. You may have seen that they have a dating app still and that caused a little bit of... Well, here we are back at square one. We went from the king back to the page. I see that. See with this blocked energy with that page of pentacles being challenged there the fool temperance the five of swords somebody's not willing to budge here and taking their sweet time the funny thing is this temperance is in the middle of this challenge meaning there's somebody here that's still holding on to hope and i know it's not you gemini it's from their side And deep down inside, you may be still holding on to a little bit of hope and trying to move forward. You don't know if you should reach out or whatnot. This is divine feminine all the way. Don't reach out to this person. That's how I feel. Divine feminine, just let them do their own thing and let them fall, let them stumble. They'll reach out. We got that feminine energy here now. I love it. It's feminine, it's spiritual, and I love the spiritual. I love the spiritual ride. Let's see with the hermit here. The star, ace of chalices, and the magician. There's a lot of introspection here about a situation. Um... Some of you manifested this person. So some of you might be like, I did that. <laughs> and uh, that, that makes you go into this introspection of you've manifested a person, an actual person that showed up the way you wanted it. It was happiness. It was, you know, very fiery, very passionate. 
And, you know, all of a sudden it just ended up turning into some sort of dream here, some dream reality that didn't really promise you much of anything. Well, let's see here. Let's see what this Five of Pentacles is about. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's like what I said about Five of Pentacles. This is you realizing you're beautiful. You don't need anybody here. And the conflicts that people bring you actually just kind of level you up here in your, your perspective. From your perspective, it levels you up. Like I said, with the hopes and fears there of that Five of Pentacles, is that you feel like the universe is punishing you? No. Mm -mm, wrong. This is just put there for you to kind of introspect and for you to level up here for some sort of reason that I don't see here. But let's see what the winged boy is up there and the best possible outcome. I just saw 1111 on my camera too, by the way, and I'm not I'm not a stickler for those numbers. A lot of you that got personal reads with me know that I don't do numerology. So <laughs> just kidding. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Hierophant. Um, something shows up here, something good, something passionate that makes you feel really good. And remember when I said Divine Feminine? If anyone's going to represent the Divine Feminine, it's that beautiful Queen of Wands there at the end of the read here. And it looks like the form of something in marriage. This is like somebody coming out of nowhere after they've thrown somebody away, and they're like, oh. It's like, I just threw that person away and they're the best thing that ever happened to me and they just show up and say, you know, let's get married. That's how I see it. And like, remember when I said, this is something you won't believe? You're not going to believe it on this read. You're going to be like, no, it's not. Definitely not. Go ahead. Don't believe it. That's fine. Just wait for the universe to work in its own way here and keep moving towards nice, beautiful things, uh, new things. There's somebody here from your past that shows up. It's your job here with that Ace of Chalices, the Magician, and the Temperance to figure out how you manifested this into some sort of reality here and not get yourself in your head about it, you know. Ace of Wands, the Star, Five of Chalices. Advice from the universe is to create a dream and let go of the past. Focusing too much on the past situation here doesn't bring in your past situation, doesn't bring in new situations this week. Focus on new things. And um, even if this does show up, some of you may not want it back, right? I get it. And some of you might want it back. Um, the ones that want it back obviously probably won't get it back. And the ones that don't want it back probably get it back, right? I feel like the overall advice for whatever team you're on, Gemini, like the I want it back, I don't want it back, let it go. Let it go. And I don't want to sing that song because I don't really like it. That Let it go. I'm going to sing it anyways, aren't I? Gemini, this is a very interesting read. I'm really happy we did this read for you. And, um, you know, do the work. Introspect. If, if past energies do show up, really introspect whether it's, it's what you really want. Um, because it's showing me that you manifest it. You just don't know it. So that's all I got. I'll see you guys again next week. Take it easy. Bye, Gemini.